Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, we are talking about the new Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. This, you guys, is so pretty. Oh my goodness. When I saw her announce this palette, the first thing I thought of was that it looked like Leela and Sunset had a baby, actually. When you open it up, you will see like hints of purples like Leela with some pinks like Leela, and then you have reds, oranges, and yellows like Sunset. So we are going to be diving in to this palette, swatch comparisons, swatches of the full palette, as well as my first impression thoughts on whether I think that this new palette is worth the money or not. So stay tuned for all of that. Let's get right on into it. So this new Natasha Denona Sunrise palette is available right now online at Sephora and in store as well. I did pick up mine in store. So it retails for 65 American dollars or 85 Canadian dollars. So a lot of you guys were asking me questions to review this palette in particular because of the size of this one. So it is cheaper because it is not as big as a full size palette. So these Sunrise, Leela, Biba, all of those palettes are bigger. I'm going to show you a little bit of a side by side comparison right here. This is what they look like with Sunrise being a little bit smaller, but not that much smaller. There's another comparison here that I'm showing you next to Biba. So uniformly across the board, this Sunrise palette is a little bit smaller than the larger palettes, but the significant difference is actually the pan size. So again, when you open it up, the first thing I thought of was these look like they must be the same size as the mini palettes. The mini palettes here are not the same size. They are still significantly smaller than these. So this is kind of like the perfect medium ground when it comes to size. The mini palettes are 0.8 grams each. This one I calculated to be about 1.28 grams each. Then the large palettes are 2.5 grams each. So again, I'm gonna show you a difference between the size of the pans from a larger palette versus the Sunrise palette. So you can kind of see the significant difference between them, which therefore justifies the difference in price. A lot of you guys are wondering how these perform and if it is actually worth the cheaper price because when it comes to the mini palettes that she's released, the mini nude palette that I have in my collection is amazing. I do think that it is great consistent formula with the mattes and the shimmers. They're very easy to apply, they're pigmented, and they last a long time on the lid. The Sunset palette is not as good as the mini nude because I feel like I have to build these up a lot more. I feel like they aren't as easy to use compared to the mini nude. They're just a little bit drier and they don't go as far when you swatch them. Like they're not as richly pigmented as the mini nude one. So there is some difference in consistency with this. So a lot of you guys were asking me, is this sunset palette going to be similar to the minis where it's a little bit inconsistent or is it going to be similar to a larger palette like sunset or like Leela because these are pretty consistent when it comes to formula, but they are more money. So let's get right into this look that I created today. The first shade that I picked up is actually the base shade that I used. I did prime my eyes first with my Smashbox eye primer. Then I went all over the lid with the shade Morning. And this is probably the closest base shade that you can use in this palette with the exception of Morgan. Both of those right here I think would be really nice bases if you want to use a matte base or you can use a shimmer as a base. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but typically someone would do a matte as a base. These two I think would be your best contenders. Then I went in with Morgan all over the lid as well, and this gives a gorgeous soft peach color all over the lid. I do think this is a gorgeous sunset color or a sunrise color, so that makes a lot of sense why they're using this type of terminology. <laughs> Next, I went in with my first shimmer shade. This is a gorgeous purple duochrome color. This is called Aster, I believe. And this one I pulled from the inner corner all the way till the middle of the lid. Now, because this is a shimmer, I did then experience my first bit of fallout on the eye. That is similar to her other shimmer formulas from the large palettes, in my opinion. I usually get some fallout with her shimmers. And the mattes, I forgot to mention, there's a lot of kickback when you pick them up with the brush. So keep in mind that is normal to see as well. Next, I went in with my beautiful deep shade that I wanted to add some dimension to the look with. This is Clove. This is a gorgeous deep purple and it's a matte as well. This is so pigmented and so consistent. I think out of the mattes, this one shines in my opinion, just a tad, a little bit more. So it is still pigmented, creamy, just like the two base colors that I use, but because the base 
colors were a little bit more pale in shade. I had to build them up a little bit more on the lid. And I do think that if we're kind of being nitpicky, clove is like a touch richer in creaminess. Lastly, I wanted to add a little bit of a sparkle spotlight in the center of the lid, so I used the shade Awakening. And this is also one that is incredibly pigmented and very smooth. I loved this shade. I thought it added the perfect finishing touch to the look. And lastly, I went in with a gate, I think it's pronounced, in the inner corner. And this is also a gorgeous, like, champagne-y gold color that I just think looked gorgeous inside the very inner corner of the lid. So like I said, this is a first impression video because I haven't tested all of the shades yet. So I will be checking back in with a full review in a few weeks time when I'm able to test every single shade. That's what I typically do on my channel. But for the time being, the shades that I've used are gorgeous. They're very easy to use. I would say the Aster shade, which is this purple one that I used in the inner corner, kind of pulling to the middle of the lid, I did have to use multiple layers with because I used it dry. I do think you have a little bit more of a pigment impact if you pick it up with a finger or a wet brush, but I just wanted to use a dry brush today. So I probably used at least three to four layers, I would say, to make it really pop on the lid. But again, I used it dry. Very, very strong first impression so far though, you guys. like. I'm excited because this is a smaller price point, so it is going to attract people that can't afford necessarily the larger palettes right away, but it does have the consistency of that gorgeous formula. So Natasha Denona does claim that all 15 of these shades are brand new, but let's go into some swatch comparisons and take a real look. Because Natasha Denona describes this palette as a warm sunrise with yellows and corals and some earthy browns as well, I wanted to pull in and compare Biba to it because Biba is an all neutral kind of earthy, palette by itself. As you can see, there really isn't. So when it comes to comparing these shades, the only one I thought was maybe a little bit close was the base shades between them. And as you can see, the Sunrise palette has a much more yellowy base tone shade, which is the shade Morning, versus the bases in Biba. The next one I compared was Lila. A lot of you guys thought just like I did that this was gonna be, like I said, a mix of Lila and Sunset. So Lila doesn't actually have any similar shades either. Surprisingly enough, this is the kind of closest shades I could find. We do have the kind of cranberry colors that are still significantly different. The purples are significantly different and even the shimmers are significantly different as well. Next, I wanted to see how Sunset would compare. And honestly, the only shade that I could see that was sort of similar was the matte yellow in each of them. Even still, when you see this swatch, you can see that the matte yellow in Sunset is a little bit more mustardy, whereas the Sunrise one is a little bit brighter, but they do resemble a little bit of similarity between them, so that is something to consider. But again, this is the first shade that I've seen that's pretty close. Then I thought, hey, besides the big palettes, how does this big palette compare to the mini nude palette? Because the mini nude palette did have a shimmer kind of on the end here that I thought might be pretty similar to the Sunrise palette. So as you can see, the swatch comparisons between the two of them, now we're getting into something a little bit more similar as well. There are still aspects to them that are different, but on the lid, I do think they'll translate pretty similarly, even if the swatches are slightly different. Lastly, I wanted to see how this bad boy actually compares to Mini Sunset. Now, what I really am excited about is that this formula, based on my first impression alone, is already superior to the Mini Sunset palette. When I did some swatch comparisons, I actually found the most comparison between these two. So as you can see, Mini Sunset has a very similar shimmery cranberry between the two that I think is very, very close, almost identical. Also, you'll be able to see that the golden champagne shimmer is also very similar between the two palettes, but we do have some variability with the golden brown shimmers at the top. Now let's get into checking out the swatches of this entire palette and I will show you guys every single shade in order. I'm sorry, but do you die at this color story? I think it is beautiful, you guys. This is one that I 100% think so far, I mean, I can confidently say based on my first impression alone that this will be worth the money. Like I said, I'm so happy that she was able to create something that was going to be a little bit of a middle ground between a mini palette versus a larger palette. So I love the fact that she did this. This is a stunning palette already. I will definitely come back with a full review when I've done every single shade and used it on the lid and everything, but wowza. This is so nice. <laughs>
<laughs> so I am happy I have it in my collection. I'm happy that these swatch comparisons are very minimal, especially with the two big palettes that everybody thought this would be really close to, which is Leela and Sunset. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope all of this information was helpful. Definitely let me know if this is a palette that you guys have your eye on and if you're going to be purchasing it. I would love to know in the comments below. And until my next one, guys, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. So if there's a light inside of us, it shows the way.